Alright, so this time I'm coming up against a uh, new box of Egypt with uh, Swebi. And I think this is probably one of the only ways that Swebi can win against Egypt, is if Egypt uh, boxes up like this. So, Mercenary Cretan Archers, Hellenic Royal Guard in a box, Galatians here. And I just love my opponent for doing this, because I thought as... As uh, Swebi, I would just get stomped by Egypt, but a defensive Egypt army is a lot easier to deal with than an offensive Egypt army. So, let's see, I'm looking forward to breaking this box into tiny little pieces. He has a Greek scorpion, but that won't avail him. And these pikes will just be the perfect target to test the power of the new skirmishers with uh, more armor penetration. So, I am moving all my guys up, and I am going to skirmish him to death before I move in for the kill. So he has some elephants, but uh, I think he will keep them fairly defended there. If he chooses to bring them out, that's fine. So I'm going to just keep my infantry in the forest here, because... Well, actually, I can use this to get a lot closer to his guys. With the berserkers. And I'm going to go for his missiles frontally here. It doesn't look like... Our general is under attack. There is too much going on in the way of um, protection there. But I'm going to send my spears forward just in case. Now he might have some stuff hidden here, I don't know. I think that would be the only reason, or well, fighting on open ground is another reason, but uh, probably the only reason on this map to to create a box this far away is to because he wants to have um, the ability to to come running out of the forest with some guys. So let's see here. Slingers will take care of the Cretans, I think. They are deadlier. I'm going to run up with my skirmishers. And I'm just going to follow up with my infantry at this point. This. I'm not even going to start flanking yet because uh, I'm just going to remove his archers and scorpions. Doesn't look like he's going to try to chase me away either, so that's fine. No units popping out of the woods just yet. Maybe I should just take out the archers first. Yeah, I'm gonna take out the archers first. Regulations are moving out to try to stop me from skirmishing these guys to death. The men are wavering. Going to lose a unit of Germanic youths here. Escalations out, which will enable me to deal with them a lot easier because he will turn them around and they will get shot to death in their backs. So I'm just going to move my infantry up here. Germanic youth! Galatians are dying. Scrappers ready! I'm just going to charge in with some swordmasters. Berserkers are moving up here. Now what I should do, I've just completely uh, forgotten about it. I should just uh, shoot his elephants. Try to make them run amok in there. Missile warrior. 
And the Germanic units can take care of those. So slingers are going to start shooting at the elephants. Hopefully try to make them run amok. Cretan archers are dying. They aren't really able to do too much against an army that outnumbers <laughs> outnumbers them this much in skirmishers. Okay. So now it's almost time to start dealing with the pikes. We are the dark forest. So elephants aren't dying yet. They are getting hit. Germanic youth! Helen Krolgar dying. Swords! Yeah. Royal Thorax fighting here. His head is mine. Headhunt. Berserkers are moving out. Youth. Um, I have a lot of ammunition left on my slingers, so as you can see they haven't been able to kill the elephants yet, so these Hellenic Royal Guard are dying nicely to the youths. So his box should start to One of our units has used all its ammunition. have some problems soon, I'm just going to stop shooting at the elephants. And concentrate on these Hellenics instead. Get the Germanic youths, uh, give the elephants a few volleys. I can't use flaming shots since uh, since the, uh, it's snowing. There we go, killing the elephants quite nicely. Yep, now he's going to try to move out. Which is, of course. It's going to be very easy. And I'll be able to shoot his, the backs of his pikemen here. So his elephants started, I think they run, yep, they run a buck. One of our units has used all its ammunition. So there we go, coming out of the woods with some citizen cavalry, won't do much. Now I'm starting to run out of ammunition, I'm going to continue to sling at them. I'm going to try to throw some javelins with my swordmasters here and just keep shooting. So you're to Phalenix, that's interesting. Elephant's still alive, but I'm going to use some javelins on them. And I must apologize here for my extremely boring playstyle. I could have ended this a lot sooner, but uh, I'm playing it a bit safe. Hellenics are fighting. The men are wavering. Just some Germanic youths getting killed. Elephants running amok, which is great. And now I'm just going to go in for the kill here. Get a nice around. 
These enemies are getting run over by his own elephants. So here comes the final charge. Now these are how these guys have their back turned, so that's awesome. And that should enable my sword masters to do a lot of damage there. Noble riders are gonna finish off those elephants. And berserkers are going to do what they do. And that should be it basically. Yeah, mass route and decisive victory. Now this army was a very strange army. Six pikes and one elephant, no chariots or anything. So as you can see I was able to do a lot of damage with my skirmishers and everything else basically just held. The swordmasters got a lot of kills but pretty strange army to go up against. It shows that the that Swebi can be effective against the box basically. So thanks for watching and goodbye.